Everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I make weekly video editing and production tutorials to help you create better videos. Don't forget you can enter my current monthly giveaway at premiergal.com slash giveaways to win some awesome things. So check it out. All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use my Olympics inspired sports title pack that I designed just for you. Of course, it can be used for other sports videos, not just Olympics related. And right now the pack is free in honor of all the awesome Olympians out there competing in South Korea. But once the Olympics conclude on February 25th, this title pack will be on sale on my store at regular price. The download link is in the description box below. So this is a motion graphics template, also known as Mogurt, and it's optimized for editing in Premiere Pro. So you need Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 or later to use it because it requires the essential graphics panel. So once you download it, you'll find a folder full of the four Mogurts, and you will need to install this in your essential graphics panel. So in Premiere Pro, first go up to window and open up essential graphics. Then from the browse tab here, you're going to select the folder icon. And then here is where you can select the first Mogurt to import. Then you need to click on it again and install the next Mogurt and repeat until you install all four. I really hope the next version of Premiere will enable users to install multiple Mogurts at once because importing this should not take this much time. Okay, so now that we have them all imported, let's make a new sequence. I'll make a 1080p sequence. And then let's drag the first Mogurt here from the Browse tab into the timeline. Before I jump into editing, I just want to show you that here on the timeline, you'll notice that on the graphics clip, you'll see these white handles on the front and end. And these are the in and out durations. You'll notice that when I change the duration of the clip by just dragging it out, and then if I play it back, you'll see that the in and out animations here remain the same. So you don't have to worry about changing the keyframes. So this is an awesome new feature. So let's go ahead and edit this first live graphic. Let's use the type tool to type in something new here where it says live. Let's say live at 5 p.m. And as we type that, you'll notice that the other assets shift over. And that's because I pinned the layers to one another, making it easy for you to update. And now let's just highlight at 5 p.m. And let's use the shift baseline up feature just to move it up a bit. And of course, you can change any color you like here. Let's change uh, the line shape here to be like a red color. Cool, so if you don't wanna have the snowboarder icon here, totally understandable. So that's something that you can replace as well. So go to the project panel, and here you will see there's a folder called Motion Graphics Template Media. Here is where the Essential Graphics imports any clip media that is used in the Mogurt that you imported. So let's right click on the white snowboarder graphic and hit replace footage. And here you can search for any graphic you want and then hit open and then voila, the graphic stays the same. And of course you can resize it if you need to. All right, now let's go into the winner list motion graphics template and let's drop it into the timeline. So notice how it's over to the right. And if you want it to be in the center, no problem. You can just use the main layer effects controls and you can use the position controls to just shift it over until it's in the center. Now you can use the type tool to edit the text. Let's change this top event name to say Olympics 2018 South Korea. And I made the shapes adaptable to the size of text, so it makes it easy for you. You can also update these names. So if I select it, delete, and type something new, you will see that it adapts as well. And let's say that the names all end up being longer than each other, but you want these rectangles to be even. No worries, just go over to the Essential Graphics panel, 
find the corresponding box layer and just use the selection tool to resize the shapes until they are even. You can also update the country acronym and also replace the flags from the motion graphics template media folder in the project panel, just like I showed you with the snowboarder graphic. You can also change the color of the text or the backdrops here, and the same applies to all the mogrids in this pack. Now on to the next graphics mogrid. You will see that when I try to type in new text that the shape does not adapt here. And I did this on purpose because if I made it adaptable, the shapes actually distort because they have slanted angles. So pinning the layers only works with straight edge rectangles right now in Premiere Pro. But no worries, if you change the text, you can use the pen tool to change and adapt the shape until it fits. And lastly, the lower third score graphic. Here, if you want to update the Olympic name, you can do that. And let's type in Chloe Kim, and you can see that the shape adapts to her name. And of course, we can type in new scores if we want. And instead of total, let's type in best, and then we can type in a new score. Also, Chloe Kim is not an ice skater, she's a snowboarder, so let's go ahead and replace that ice skater clip. Let's right click on the ice skater clip from the folder in the project panel and then hit replace footage and let's select the snowboarder clip. And now let's go ahead and scale it back up and reposition it so it looks nice. So that's how you edit these motion graphics templates. I hope you all enjoy this and find it useful to your future sports related content and enjoy the rest of the Olympics everyone and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!